must be free. Oscar Lopez must be free. 33 years ago, Oscar Lopez Rivera was arrested for being a part of La Fuerzas Armadas de la Liberación Nacional, the FALN, an organization, a revolutionary socialist independentista organization. He was arrested as a part of a witch hunt against independentistas. He was arrested. He has had his human rights, civil rights, violated. The brother has been put in two of the worst prisons in the world. He has been emotionally, physically, psychologically abused. But despite all of that, the brother is still a revolutionary. He is still saying, Libertad para Puerto Rico. We gotta keep doing like what we doing today. And we gotta stay unified and stand in solidarity. And don't let this system come between us. Because when we unified, and we working together, we can accomplish but so much. It's through the unity and the work and the demand of the public that brought our sister Lynn Stewart home. It's because of the unity and the work that we all took part in that brought our brother Momia off of death row, that brought Russell Schultz out of solitary, that brought our Puerto Rican brothers and sisters home in 1999. Our effort, our work, and the demand of the public through us working together and being unified. <coughs> and by us doing this, we can continue to bring all of our freedom fighters home. And I repeat what Ralph said to me when he first met me at the prison gate on December 31st. He said, one out, 149 to go. And you know that Oscar is one of those 149. He's one that we must release, we must get free. We want Oscar Lopez free. We want Oscar Lopez free. We want Oscar Lopez free! I'm here today because today is the 33rd anniversary of the arrest of Oscar Lopez Rivera, a man who should never have been arrested, a man that did not commit any violent crimes. His only crime was fighting for Puerto Rican independence. His only crime was being a part of a political organization that took up arms against the U.S. government, an organization that never took human life, an organization whose existence is uh, validated and acknowledged by international law. Colonized people through resolution 1514 of the UN Human Rights Charter says that colonized people have the right to fight by whatever means necessary to end colonialism. Oscar is not a violent criminal. Oscar is a man that was fighting for independence. He's our Mandela. He is he is our Malcolm X. He is all of our struggles in history, all of those figures in history that have fought for an independence struggle and for self-determination and liberation. We have to educate not only our people, but other people so they become allies. When you explain the case of Oscar to regular people, they understand 33 years is too much. When you, uh, and when you explain them that seditious conspiracy is a political charge, it is nothing else but a political charge that we use against George Washington, which was the liberator of this country, which was a revolutionary in this country, by the British crown. He's no different than Mandela. He's no different than Gandhi. He's no different than any other. This Oscar Lopez Rivera is our Mandela, our Puerto Rican Mandela.